This S-Class is not a normal series vehicle, but a special armored protection vehicle. Due to the weight of the side windows, the window lifter blocks are not electric, but hydraulic. In addition, each window lifter is equipped with an emergency hydraulic operation. This way the operation of the window is possible even without a power supply. With this S-Guard, there's a problem with the right rear emergency hydraulic window lifter. Before you go on a fault search, take out the mechanical key and keep it outside the vehicle. With guard vehicles, always make sure not to lock yourselves out inadvertently. For the first step, do a functions check of the emergency operation. The window cannot be opened. The emergency operation is not working. Next, do a controlled filling of the pressure reservoir. To do this, hold the switch of the power window for 10 seconds with the engine running. The hydraulic pump, which is in the trunk, starts and fills the reservoir. Now try again. The side window can be opened and closed again. Now because the emergency operation works again after the controlled filling, there must be a disturbance in the electrical control of the reservoir. This consists of a micro switch and a pressure switch. The reservoir is not filled automatically with a decrease in pressure. Secure the vehicle against the voltage drop, attach a battery charger. In the next step we continue with the star diagnosis. Although the micro switch and the pressure switch of the window lifter are not readable with the star diagnosis, this only examines if another defect is possibly present. The quick test routine shows that there are no stored fault codes relevant to us. Next, remove the door lining as described in this. Afterwards, carefully open the door seals and expose the micro switch. Then examine the setting of the micro switch for the release of the pressure reservoir filling and the shade function. We can see that play is present between the guide pins and the position spring. Therefore, the micro switches are not operated and the pressure reservoir filling is not approved. In order to repair the problem, the micro switch holder plate must be adjusted in the direction of the pin. First, loosen the fixing bolts. Then adjust the holder plate so that the position spring rests against the guide pin and the micro switches are operated. Fix the holder plate in this position. And tighten the fixing bolts with a torque of 6 Newton meters. When that's done, test whether the micro switch setting is now correct and the operation can take place via the guide pin. Open and close the window with the switch in the driver's door. The window opens and closes perfectly. With the ignition switched on, test whether the reservoir was filled and the emergency operation functions again. The window can be emergency opened and closed. And the hydraulic pump runs as soon as the hydraulic oil flows through the emergency operation from the pressure reservoir and the pressure in the reservoir sinks. The problem is solved. If the emergency operation doesn't work here, then the problem is probably not at the micro switch, but at the pressure switch. In order to find out whether the pressure switch is actually the cause, do a resistor test with a multimeter.
the resistor goes on infinitely. That means that the switch doesn't turn off and the electrical circuit is not closed. Next, bypass the line which leads to the hydraulic pump using suitable cables. And the pump starts. From this we see that the pressure switch is defective and must be renewed with the pressure reservoir. The exchange is only possible with a removed window lifter. The part to be removed is colored blue. Once the pressure switch is renewed, fasten the door skin as described in this. Make sure of a good seal because otherwise there is the danger of water getting into the vehicle's interior. In the next step, install the door trim and with the star diagnosis do an exit short test and with that, you're finished with the repair.